Namaste angels. I'm here to do a client reading for somebody who's watching, been watching my videos for quite some time, I believe. Um, perhaps maybe since I've been on. Beginning with the nine of earth, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment. Hmm. Opening to the chariot. And I believe in passing, we had a conversation where she said she was indeed a cancer. Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower public recognition in addition to being a cancer and i think the masculine may have been a capricorn maybe that's why the nine of earth was just here now the chariot on the bottom opening to the eight of fire so uh communication happening for them or about to if it's not already and things moving very very quickly events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things are happening at once Chariot is back. I'll go one more. And it's the aid of Earth. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic and perhaps going back to school on one agenda or the other or both. Chariot is back. I'm going to cut. Coming to the page of fire, who's outgoing, creative, confident, and mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. The page of fire may represent a person that's involved in this situation who is a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, I guess moon or rising, because again, I think the masculine is a Capricorn and the feminine is a Cancer. Um... Or somebody embodying this energy that's really passionate about something right now, really in a creative space, um, that could be too. The overall energy is the nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Masculine is the six of earth, gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities and receiving a loan or paying off debts. This may be what it's allowing him to go to school. Um, the six of earth also represents tutelage for me um, quite often and someone, you know, offering you their time, maybe for free in order to teach you a, a skill or, um, you know, a gift that they have to share a gift that they have with you in love about uh, balance and equity Supreme math as well. Um, six means, um, you know, equality. Um, you know, you giving and receiving in uh, angel numbers. Six, of course, being the number of, of love as well. So it's like giving love. Well, abundance is love, right? Money and um, material things. When we give them freely, that's love. So that's what the masculine is doing. Awesome. Surrounding him, very nice, the Ten of Water, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. <coughs> Excuse me. In his subconscious, he's the Knight of Water, who's emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative. Falling in love or wedding proposals and the need to balance emotions. Maybe even an invitation to a social event from him. The Knight of Water is another actual person um and again is a cancer pisces or scorpio or somebody embodying that energy the king of fire is what crowns the feminine the king of fire is the quintessential divine masculine of the tarot he's also motivational idealistic ambitious and charismatic and like the page a leo sagittarius or aries 
Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Take advice from someone creative as well, if you can. And surrounding her, opposite his ten of water, she's got her own. It's the ten of earth. A very happy family life. Financial security. Finding the magic in the little things in life. And in her subconscious, a new beginning about to um, start for her and or falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, maybe even a new home, which could very well be possible with the Ten of Earth. The Ten of Earth can often be coming into like a lump sum of money unexpectedly. Crowning for both. Time to take a rest or vacation and allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers for said decision. At the root, ooh, the three of air, great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself and others. Well, on the positive side, we've already progressed um, past this three to the four uh, in this spread and in this union. But what caused this? Here in between the Knight of Water and the Ace of Water. Very interesting. The heart of the matter, the Seven of Water, a complex decision. The need to do some research. Stop procrastinating. So I am going to attempt to clarify first the Seven of Water and then the Three of Air. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Well, here with the seven of water, I think the decision has to do with um, is a financial one, right? As far as what moves to make. And the result, um, the, the end result is positive for both. Again, he's the Ten of Water here uh, next to this Queen of Earth. And maybe because somebody's helping him, somebody's giving him. So that's how he ended up with a contented, not only emotional needs being met, but material as well. Because somebody gifted him uh, material. Maybe it was a Queen of Earth that, you know, aided him in some way. Also, again, the feminine is the Ten of Earth. So someone... She's coming to money too, and that may a queen of earth may be at the you know bottom of that as well. It may have been like a loan officer or a creditor, or you know, the um financial consultant who said, Here, you're the heir to this. Um, you know, you've inherited this. Um, could be a new job, also. I just felt, and with the ace of water, that makes a lot of sense. It's here diagonal to. The Ace of Water. Maybe the decision was whether or not to take said job or maybe there's a job on the table presently for her and the decision is whether or not to take that or to move forward towards something new. Um, and the answer is yes, it's going to be um, amenable to you. What's going on here? Did a King of Water come in between them. this can be a female or a male um did a king of water come in between you guys is one or the other um involved in a party of three that's caused some hurt to the other and even to themselves um i don't know if you guys can i'm talking louder and louder because the sirens behind me archangel Raphael coming through with the healing amen um Somebody perhaps needing to walk away from a water sign um, that's a third wheel. And that has caused some hurt here. <sighs> I'm going to get the romance cards. Beginning with engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And opening to chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here.
engagement is back. Opening now to worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Maybe I'm getting something else now. Somebody had closed themselves off to the love. And the king of water is here. He's all about opening your heart and mind to those around you. And, you know, feeling confident that you're getting trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Feeling free to do charity work, which, you know, which is giving of yourself, which is love. Maybe somebody felt they couldn't do that before and that caused hurt to the other. That's another possibility here that just came in. Opening to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Worth waiting for is back. I'll go one more. Finances and career. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And they seem to be a positive one. That may help it to move forward. Worth waiting for is back. I'm going to cut. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Overall energy is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. By the looks of these cards, I mean, that is what's happening. Uh, with the exception, of course, of the three of air. One may have an X also. That's a water sign. The, the energy is coming between them, you know, not necessarily the person themselves. And that can be felt by divine partners and needs to be cut. Cords of negative attachment and or emotion need to be cut there. The masculine... Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this came up actually in a daily that I did today um, on a Saturday, uncharacteristically, um, on the masculine side where it seemed a lot of them had these like really, really bruised um, hearts and, and egos um, from these past relationships. And so he's not the only one, the only um, masculine or divine masculine that's being guided to do this, to release all that old hurt and resentment and allow someone new to love him. Maybe that's what this uh, king of water person is. Maybe he had a, a I, again, I believe she's a cancer, but maybe he had a water sign person in his life before that caused him a lot of pain. And now he's like, I, can I do this again? Can I go there again? And the answer, of course, is yes. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And atop the night of water, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Top the king of fire, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, yes. Um, someone's ex's energy getting in the way of the flow of the positive energy between the two of you. And very possibly yours. Your ex's energy. Keep an open mind, however. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you may be unlike anybody he's dated before. He may be unlike anyone you've dated before. And we're to, you know, throw out that concern and, you know, care, worry out the window and not worry about it. Um, because look what's atop the ace of water, which is all about, um, you know, a blessed new beginning full of emotion and love. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Top the four of air and the rest and recovery, making a comeback here, is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. 
atop uh, this three of air and king of water, I guess to lighten up the mood um, and make it to this four, we're, we're progressing here. And we see that it does work. We, we end up progressing. In order to get there, we need to extend our lighthearted energy to others. And at the heart of the matter, to know it is safe for you to love. So yes, we were hurt before, um, hurt before. We've learned some lessons and maybe we're afraid to try again. But we're, Spirit says, um, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So pretty much the same message that's on the card for the king of water underneath here about opening one's heart is right above it as well at the heart of the matter. Further to that, from the angels, they say to the masculine, the moon with Archangel Haniel, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So again, the masculine is being um, guided to trust and let go of the past hurt, past um, bruises to his ego and the fear, and so that he can move on with his life. The moon also represents the sign of Pisces or other water sign and can be about things behind the scenes that we don't know. Um, you know, the spirit has let yet to reveal to us and it can be about secrets between us as well. Um, so there may be something that he needs to tell you or something he feels you need to share with him that you haven't opened up about. And maybe that's what's giving him pause or concern. Like, can I trust this one? Trust is his issue here. Um, the angels say to you, the hermit with Archangel Raziel, spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching and self-discovery. So you need to go within and perhaps it's so you can figure out how to release this X um, onto which you're holding, whether you realize it or not, maybe it's something subconscious. Uh, maybe there's some sort of connection. It, I don't know if you have children, but if so, maybe it's like your child or their parent or something. So some of us have trouble releasing that connection, even if we think we did already. Oh, we broke up, you know, five years ago. I'm over that. But there's something there that needs to be really, really um, cleared away so that you can move on with your life. And that may be why that five of earth um, was here before, because fives are about clearing and, you know, like changing the energy. The masculine um, is getting a message from the romance angels that it is worth waiting for this situation, this union. Divine timing is at work in his love life. And they say to you, passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So if you've been worried and concerned about the union itself, um, no need for that. Go ahead and loosen up. Do your um, looking within because it, this ends in marriage. You both are calling in your soulmate. He's been hurt. He's had, he has some wounds that I think are still like open and bleeding. And maybe your situation, whatever, or whatever he knows of it and or can feel of it, um, it's like worsening it for him, making him feel even more uneasy. I'm going to see, well, I was going to try to pull another card. Let me shuffle a little bit because the next card is upside down. Um, but I was going to see if we could find anything else out about release your ex. Not that that's not clear enough. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So yeah, this is the second message that you're getting that you need to uh, lighten up. And maybe um, in taking back your happy is what will clear the end. Maybe you're holding some resentment and that's what's holding the energy of the ex there. Take back your happy, lighten your personal mood. Maybe again, with the introspection, go within, um, see how you can cheer yourself up, be the nine of earth, right? A happy person by themselves. And then you'll be ready to reapproach the masculine and get to that reconciling and these heart to heart conversations that it seems you both so much want to have. I hope that you enjoyed your reading, dear, and you find it helpful. Namaste, angel.